Hey everyone, welcome back to Cam Keyframe. My name is Bas, and in today's video, I'm going to show you how you can animate this graph. So we have this easy graph here. I want to animate these lines kind of popping up and move independently from each other and this gradient below it. So I've got my background, my months and my numbers here, the back shape and this grid shape all locked. And I have this gradient, which is just this shape. And I have the line, which is this shape. So if I want to animate this line, I open it up, go to contents, group one, path one, and then I can click on the stopwatch, create a keyframe. And then here I can go to my pen tool and click on these anchor points and I can, oh, select one with my uh, uh, arrow tool, select this one, and then you can drag that out and you can animate it and it creates a new keyframe and then it animates between those points. But I want to move these points individually uh, and not at the same time, but I can't because I've only got this one control layer just to control all of the paths here. So, so what you can do is you need to go into window and then there is a plugin or an effect uh, that's in After Effects and it's called Create Nulls from Paths. Here it is, click, open that up and drag that out. And what I can do here is that I can select points, follow nulls. And I click that and I need to first select the path here to click on path and then click boom. And then what it does, it makes all of these nulls and these just this, these empty layers. And these anchor points here, this one, this one, this one, they follow those nulls. So if I select this null and I drag it up, oh, drag it up, I can control that point, but I can only control that point. So let's just um, rename these, let's call this one. To just to get a bit more of a clear idea. Four, five, six, eight, nine, almost there. Ten, eleven. Okay, nice. So we can close this one up. And all of the, I cannot animate the path of this anymore. They're all anim um, parented to these nulls. So if I select these and go to P for position, click and drag them out and drag them back here at the beginning. And if I just drag these nulls down and just random, whoa, no, don't scale it, kind of randomly. I'm holding shift to go perfectly straight down. And like this, I can drag all of them down here and they'll animate, oops, they'll animate upwards. And we get a nice effect going. So yeah, let's open this up full screen. Select all of them and give them some uh, easy ease. And maybe put them a little bit closer together. So now they all animate up, but not the at the same timing. So if I give this a bit more of an um, extreme easing, and if I then just select, I'm going to go to my uh, Rift plugin here. Uh, you can also, what I want to do is kind of offset these. So this one needs to go first, then this one, then this one. No, uh, started at the beginning here. So you can just um, kind of drag these keyframes out here just to have them move after each other. I can do that by what, by hand, but I can also select all of them and then go to a Rift plugin and click on this button and then it does it for me. Uh, let's go to descending and only keyframes. Let's make this 10, click like that. And then whoop, they animate up like that. Looks really good. Nice, and I can of course now get some new keyframes going here. Uh, let's say for this one, uh, click on the stopwatch or on the icon and then I have to have this change down. So now it changes numbers. Okay, so uh, now I'm going to do the same thing with this gradient here, but I'm going to parent all of those uh, to these nulls. So I want the gradient to follow that line. So I'm going to go do the same thing, gradient, open this up, path one, path one, click, point follow nulls, creates all of these nulls. And these two I don't need because it, it um, um, controls the bottom uh, part here. I don't need those. So I'm going to kind of mark those with a different color. So I'm going to do the same thing here and renaming them. Now it's upside down, uh, just so I know which ones to parent. And I'm going to parent all the numbers to the same numbers of the line, because then these nulls will follow those other nulls, and it will mean that they will all stick together nicely. So I'm going to, uh, if I hit, if I hover over this and I hit the tilde key on your keyboard, just next to the Z or to the, or on your number one on Windows, the little key here, I can um, full screen this, take that down. I can I can close this actually, and I'm going to parent the 11 to the 11, 10 to 10, like that. Okay, and the number two and number one, and now they're all parented to each other. Those are all parented to those ones, and then. 
uh, now you can see that this graph, the gradient, is actually following these lines here as well. Nice. So uh, now I'm going to comp everything together here. So select all of these, uh, yeah, all of these. And I'm going to right click, uh, go to pre-compose and call this graph. And like that. And I'm going to duplicate my shape here, which is this white shape. Press command D, place it on top. And I'm going to call it matte. And on, on this one, I'm going to go to, oh, click on this button to open your uh, track mats here at the bottom. Go to none and go to matte. And then it's only visible within that shape. And uh, as you can see, there's a little bit of a um, bleeding bleed through here. That's because the shape, this mat had a uh, layer effect on it, um, layer style, drop shadow. So if I turn that one off, boom, that one is gone. So now it's clean. And there you have it, your animated graph. Let's let it load here for a sec. There you go, animated graph, really easy and nice. That's it. Thanks for watching. If you want to download these projects, you can do that by supporting me on Patreon, where you get exclusive videos, extended videos, and you can download all of the project files for this project and other projects. Thanks for watching, and I hope to see you on the next Camp Keyframe. Thank you. Bye-bye.